Taking up some gravel for some new house renovations. And we pulled up in the trailer. My dad always makes it work somehow. Aguanta poquito más, poquitito. Ahí está, ahí está, ahí está, ahí está. Damn. It might not look heavy, but man, it's pretty heavy. No. Touchdown. The grab has made it home. I told my dad to get the cement mixer, put it right here. Whenever we're ready, boom, just put it in the cement mixer. My, my, my old guy is uh, hard-headed, and you'll never change it about him. My close family knows that, not only that, but all my uncles are the same, I've been told. So my dad wants us to unload it here on the floor, and then from the floor, go back up into the cement mixer. So, but hey, his rules.
it out guys this has been about one week of this uh half of it pretty much poured y agarró el color you know lo estaba quemando el sol looks really really good it already freaking got dirty with my kids and playing on it and we still haven't removed the you know so it looks like it looks like ugly pero todavía le falta quitarle la otra no even know ni como se llame you know but this is the first half and we are going to be getting started with the second half pretty much finishing it uh, today but i just want to go ahead and show you guys uh this small little piece but yeah this has been about a week and we've been procrastinating on this one because we've been working i've been traveling out of states and then also we have already gone through three motors the second one did not break but i'll be explaining right now so this is the first one you know, my dad kind of just took it apart and started uh I don't know if he's a career mechanic or what. He just wanted to see what they look like in the inside. It's pretty much trash, but that don't matter. So that was the first one that when we first bought the machine with. And the second one that my dad bought from the store, I mean from the Swami. My dad actually bought this one at the Swami for 30 bucks, but he didn't know anything about the motors and neither, neither did I. But the only thing is that this one is only half a horsepower with 1700 RPM. These motors are actually used for like coolers, refrigerators, uh, stuff like that. And they're almost technically alternators, casi casi. But yeah, this one was, we bought the wrong one and we didn't realize that till after. And now I bought a better one. I bought a better one and I kind of just bought it as a gift from my dad. Just because, you know, he's a, he's a good guy. He's always helping me out. And check it out, you can tell the big difference, right? And this one's a little bit more bigger and bulkier. And this one is a, uh, let's see right here this is a two horsepower so it's pretty much has three four times what the other one has and then this one has a uh, double the rpms 3400 just about and you guys can see this is brand new we tried checking harbor freight and then home depot but they didn't have them in stock so i actually did order this from the home depot website and this was not even bad to be honest this thing was only 150 i believe and then i don't know how i did it guys but i freaking i did the the Come see, said the the electrical. Just so pretty much the original one, and I pretty much wired it up. It wasn't too hard, but I mean, si se queda pegado mi papá, you guys uh, don't be asking don't be asking questions. And also, I did go ahead and buy him a brand new banda. This thing was like six bucks. This one I did find it at Lowe's, you know. So it's pretty much this machine has a. It's pretty much a whole brand new machine, you know. And we pretty much we haven't put it to the test with the new motor but once we plug it in this thing you can freaking this thing spins it faster which is a lot better because it'll mix the concrete a lot faster and then but two horsepower is a is, is a big difference so it's pretty much gonna freaking put in work and my dad did go ahead and picked up some more gravel while i was out of state so that's that's really really good so we're ready we're ready to get started i just need to go buy some more concrete bags and cement bags and then we're gonna go ahead and get started on this project right now Man, this machine is holding like a champ. We already went ahead and started. Already went for the cement bags as well. Already went ahead and chopped them up in half. Cause that's how my dad calculates his uh, cement. But man, the old one that we had, it used to make freaking uh, like squeaky noises because it was too heavy. Right now this is pretty much empty. It just has water. I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys that it sounds the same even when it's loaded. So, so far this new motor, man. My dad's loving it. And this is what he has going on so far. I mean, it was pretty much, I think, half. This is what, what he needed. And this is what he got done. So, and we've literally been here for about 45 minutes. That's it, always shows the process. And also, it is spinning a little bit here at the bottom. It is because, um, and we didn't go ahead and put nothing right here at the bottom. See? But it's not a big deal. We're still gonna be adding more uh, either some rocks or something cool here, so it doesn't matter if it gets messy. But I guess you can say we're halfway there. And we just started. So this entrance is the one that's gonna uh, lead us to the backyard. That's how we kind of wanted it, so cool.
Mm -hmm. Ladies and gentlemen, about two hours later, pretty much finished. So we did end up buying a little bit more gravel, but this thing was only like 20 bucks, so it's okay. And we're gonna be doing a lot more concrete work here in the front. So we're just gonna go ahead and leave this here. We just pretty much cleaned up the machine. The new motor performed perfect, man. My dad's in love. He says now you can feel the power and, and it's mixing the cement a lot nicer. Sorry, this looks a little bit messy. We're gonna go ahead and water it tomorrow. I'll show you guys for the final results. But this is what it looks like. He's still finishing it up right now. He's pretty much cutting the edges. So it does look a little bit funny. And we did uh, mix a little bit, one wheelbarrow extra of cement, but it's okay. We're gonna go ahead and uh, throw it away. And then this is where he did the joints. We did a total of three joints to try to divide it as much as we could. We pretty much went off of uh, 11 feet, I believe, give or take. And this does lead to our backyard. And then um, we raised up, we had to raise up this fence, this gate a little bit so that it could close, uh, so it could close because it was a little bit lower. You guys could see the, the screws right there, the old, the old ones. Look, it looked a little funny, but it's okay. But there it is. I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys tomorrow because I know it does look a little bit not too nice because it's still drying. So he's gonna go ahead and pass the, what is it, like the broom? So it's not that uh so it's not that uh slippery and then tomorrow we'll pick up the camera and i'll show you guys how it looks um with a couple of hours dried so see you guys tomorrow morning good morning guys so check it out this is the final result and it still is like i said done last uh poured yesterday so it still is a little bit fresh so it's not completely dried but you guys can already see that it is starting to uh, dry up pretty nice. And man, I think we lifted that gate just perfect because look, it clears it. But there it is, ladies and gentlemen. Let me know what you guys think down in the comment section. Don't forget to like this video. Hit that subscribe button to see what else we're going to be doing to the house next. You guys can see my dad's already working on something else. But I'm sure you guys stay tuned. Look at this, man. This thing looks beautiful.